Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. So recently we got a letter from someone called Ty Lee who said, um, Hi Paddy, love your website and whiteboard videos. Uh, can you explain the role of the current Fed buying back treasuries and why that stimulates the economy? Well, this is of course all about our good friend, Uncle Ben. Here he is. And uh, Uncle Ben has been shopping. He's been popping out with his Macy's bag and filling it with shoes. Actually, that's not quite true. It's not kind of what Uncle Ben has been shopping for. In actual fact, Uncle Ben has been going shopping because he wants you to go shopping and me to go shopping and all of us to go shopping. So how's he doing that? Well, as Ty says, he's been buying back treasuries. So what he's been doing is been going to the banks, you know, banks who in the past have uh, been stocking up on uh, federal treasury notes issued by the treasury. Okay, so say for example, we have this bank, which has got, um, I don't know, say $10 billion in treasuries and 10 year treasuries. Okay, and what uh, Ben has been doing, by the way, it's not just treasuries that he's been, he's buying, he's buying all sorts of bonds. So he's been going out, and let's say treasuries in this case, he's been going out to the bank and he's been saying, hey, listen, this $10 billion in treasuries you've got, I know you want to keep some of the debt, but I'd like to buy some back from you. So can I have, say, $5 billion in treasuries from you? So the bank says, okay, delivers $5 billion in treasuries, 5 billion T, there we go. And in, in exchange, Uncle Ben gives them, that's right, $5 billion in cash. Okay, so now the bank has got $5 billion in treasuries and $5 billion in cash. All right, so what's the, why, why, why is he doing this? Well, the reason he's doing this is because he wants to get this bank to lend, okay, which is obviously what the bank is supposed to be doing, what the banks do, they lend money. And he wants to get this bank to lend this $5 billion in cash to two types of people. He wants them to lend to people like me, okay, who's then going to go out and buy shoes at Macy's, and he wants them to lend to companies like, that's right, U.S. Shoe, the U.S. Shoe Company, okay? Now, why does he want to do that? Well, as I say, he wants me to go out and buy shoes at Macy's because then that means I'm putting money into Macy's and I'm putting money into the shoe company and the more demand there is from people like me and shoe buyers like me, the more need there is for, you know, Macy's to hire more people because it needs shop assistants and for, uh, you know, the shoe company to hire people because it needs to build more, because uh, it needs to build more, uh, you know, biz build more business, have more factories, hire more people to make more shoes. And why is he lending to the shoe company? Well, he wants the shoe company to go out and go shopping as well, not necessarily for shoes, but maybe for other shoe companies. So maybe US Shoe buys GB Shoe, okay? Maybe it buys a new company out there in the UK. And maybe it opens up some new stores, some, you know, brand-only stores in Peoria, in, uh, in California, in Riverside, in, in Seattle, in Washington, okay? So you see what's happening. Once U.S. Shoe is doing all of this shopping and doing all of this expanding, has to hire more people. So you've got more people being employed in Washington, more people being employed in Illinois, more people being employed in Riverside, and we know it needs it. So you can see now what this $5 billion is supposed to do. Multiplied across all of these other banks from which the Fed is buying bonds, this money is supposed to, is to go into the system through loans so that consumers will borrow and then buy stuff, houses, shoes, whatever. Companies will borrow and then buy stuff like other companies and expand. More and more people will be employed and the economy will start to move again and we'll, we'll see some real growth. But there's a problem. And the problem is that it's not working. It's not working for me because, you know, I look at the state of the economy now and I see the unemployment rate and I think, I don't want to be borrowing lots of money now. I, mean, I might lose my job and if I lose my job, the likelihood is that I won't be able to get another one for some time. So that's right. I'm not doing any borrowing. Companies are looking at the economy and they're saying, well, I know that consumers are worried. They're not spending. So why would I expand now? And then I look at the, the width of the, 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 the way the economy is going and I think, why would I want to, you know, step out in this economy? It looks so dangerous, you know, so, you know, shoe companies aren't borrowing either. So we've got a big gap going on here. These, there's no demand for loans from this area. And that's what the banks are telling us. And then, of course, the banks are under pressure too. Don't, 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 don't be, do, be too much of an apologist for the banks. But the banks, firstly, have been told by the government, you need to hold more capital on your balance sheets. And the more capital they hold, the less they can lend out. And secondly, you know, they've been castigated by people for allowing their standards to become too lax. One of the reasons we got into a financial crisis was because they were lending to anybody that came across them for a loan. People who had poor credit risk, people who couldn't pay the money back. So they're saying, well, you know, you want us to tighten up the lending standards, so, you know, we're not going to lend to consumers as, as easily as we did before. We're not going to lend to companies as easily as we did before. The result is we've got these two gaps in the system, okay, from the consumer side, from the bank side, and it means that you know, business is not getting done. The loans aren't being made, and the economy is just not moving on. And the issue is that if we, if we stay like this, 
If, the, if we can't get this cash into the system, if we can't get people borrowing, if we can't get the uh, growth going again in this way, then you know, the, the, the Fed has got very few uh, weapons in its arsenal to, to deploy. And it means that the economy could like, grind to a halt even more than it is right now. We could see ourselves slow even more than we're slowing right now, unless we can get this money into the system. And that could leave of all of us very badly needing a drink, if we could afford one. <laughs>